right, hi, I'm Danielle. Um, I work for Robert Half. If you guys know who that, don't know who that is or what we do, then come find me afterwards. But um, I, uh, I work a lot with candidates and uh, can tell you a little bit about what it takes to find some traction in your job search. So first off, a uh, working resume. Um, I talk to candidates all the time. They've worked places for like years and they have three bullet points. And I'm like, what'd you guys do that whole time? Oh, we worked on this and that. Like, take some notes. Do some things as you're, you know, going along in your job. You might not be looking today, but you might get let go tomorrow. It's an oil and gas town. You never know. So just keep those types of things updated. Um, get good at storytelling. Uh, practice telling the story of your career and stay relevant. Um, I want to know about your kids and your hobbies and whatnot, but uh, that's probably not what you lead with. You know, tell, tell, uh, tell about what you, what brought you to where you're at, maybe why you're looking, and uh, what you want to find out of that next job. Uh, next, some uh, current projects that you've been working on. Um, your role, what you've personally worked on, some things that you're personally proud of. It's totally okay to brag on yourself a little bit. Uh, maybe some things that you would have done differently. Uh, whether or not you want to admit it. Uh, but uh, that's a, a really big part, actually being able to like talk about the things that you've done and not just uh, your team as a whole. Um, another thing, uh, ROI, uh, time saved, money saved. I know that's sometimes a really hard thing to come up with when you don't know those specific figures, uh, but you can probably guesstimate uh, or you, know, you at least save the company money and time or try to put some figures together. Business people love it, so do managers. Uh, let's see here. So show and tell, I know I talked about that. Uh, part of that is having a GitHub. Um, if you guys don't have one, I totally recommend you putting one together. Uh, I know sometimes it's really tough. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you work on is proprietary and you can't necessarily put out there, uh, but the things that you can do, code snippets or personal hobby projects, getting involved with uh, other user groups, uh, things like that that will show your actual code and, um, you know, what, uh, what you do day to day. Uh, let's see, knowing your market. Uh, don't stay stagnant, uh, definitely push your boundaries. Um, part of that is coming to meetups, part of it is actually you know, knowing the latest and greatest, but also bring pra being practical about uh, what you're working in. But don't be afraid to push your comfort zone, it's gonna help a lot uh, if and when you ever do need to make a move. Uh, Another part of knowing your market would be your uh, salary expectations. Um, we're not Dallas. Uh, a lot of people realize that. Some people don't. Um, so if you don't know about what uh, salaries are and what you're working in and whatnot, um, come find us. There's salary guides out there all over the place, but be realistic. And if you find out you're making less, then also talk to a recruiter and we can help you out there too. And then, um, Lastly, getting involved, networking, like I mentioned, user groups, getting involved with Teclahoma, uh, doing lightning talks. Uh, it will definitely help you stay relevant. And um, like Carmen had mentioned, maybe you'll catch the eye of some people that uh, you didn't know before. Um, and last but not least, be generally, generally interesting and friendly. Uh, smile will take you a long way. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you for Danielle.